On this Veterans Day, we want to show you a very special group of vets. Now, they've gone from the battlefield to the ice rink. Correspondent Whit Johnson has the story of a team of wounded warriors who are recovering by playing a game that they love. It's not your typical Friday night hockey game. The team in white is George Washington University. But take a closer look and you'll notice something unique about the guys in blue. Every time I walk, it's fake leg, fake leg, fake leg, fake leg. When I skate, it's glide, glide, glide. Uh, so it's, it's really liberating and it's, it's almost like an equalizer. Army Captain Mark Little is a double amputee, the result of an advanced roadside bomb while serving in Iraq four years ago. He plays left winger, standing up for the USA Warriors. It feels as if I have been armored up now. We've got guys missing parts, missing eyes, uh, with, with metal body parts, and it's all because they went out to do what, what the public needed them to do, defend the country. We first caught up with the Warriors at a practice in Laurel, Maryland. The 40 players, all wounded vets, meet once a week. Take that touch pass, go in. Running drills and scrimmaging. You can actually see that confidence no, grow. Absolutely. Army Staff Sergeant Drew Hill fell out of a Black Hawk while coming under enemy fire in Afghanistan. As he recovered from a broken back and other injuries, he founded the program in 2007. He's since launched a second team in Minnesota and hopes to create more across the country. You break them out of that shell and you make them happy and you make them experience who they were, not what happened to them. Why ice hockey? Well, ice hockey itself is a con aggressive sport and everything else like that. And you look at our job in the military, it's aggressive, it's contact. This is the closest thing we can get to a battlefield with actually out being there. And the best thing about it is if you're out here digging for a puck and digging for the aggression of it, you're not feeling pain. You're worried about getting a puck. The program is a therapeutic experience that helps these wounded warriors transition from military to civilian life. Some of their wounds you can see, some you can't. But here on the ice, none of that matters. What was the hardest part? Lack of depth perception. Uh, and my uh, equilibrium was very, very messed up. Army Sergeant Josh Schiestel lost his right eye and suffered major facial injuries, also in a roadside bomb attack near Baghdad in 2008. Josh was sent to Walter Reed for rehab. How was that going? Were you improving? Were you getting better? I hit a plateau. I had uh, gotten very complacent with it, bored with it. I, I wasn't pushing myself anymore. I felt like I'd gotten to a point where uh, I was never going to get any better than that. Then he heard about the Warriors. The first couple of months that I was doing it, I was probably uh, one of the worst hockey players in history. But not anymore. Josh, who played when he was younger, is now competing with college teams like George Washington and George Mason. On this night, GW ended up beating the Warriors 9-6. to six. But each time these vets take the ice, it's a victory. One, two, three, Warriors! Whit Johnson, CBS News, Laurel, Maryland. Such a great program, yeah. and even wounded vets who cannot walk have a place on the USA Warriors. As sled skaters, they play hockey using a sort of wheelchair on yep. blades. Right, it's good to see.